Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with another first. We are trying Scottish treats. Yeah, this is really exciting. This video has been inspired by Kubok and who sponsored this video with their signature single malt whiskey. Yeah, they want us to help challenge the stereotype of a traditional whiskey drinker. So Alex and I have created cocktails using their whiskey. And later on in the video, we're going to try each other's cocktail and see if we can guess the flavors. I'm so excited for this because I put a little bit of effort into mine. I'm really excited for you to try it and see if you'll get what the flavors are. I'm excited for you to try mine. I think mine will be a lot easier. Yeah, maybe. But mine is going to be an experience for all the senses. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm super excited because we've never tried Scottish yeah. treats on this channel. When you think of Scotland, you think of whiskey, and the other thing you think of is shortbread. Yeah. So should we start with those Walker shortbreads? Yep, and I thought we could do a bit of like a taste off. Yeah. So I've got two shortbreads here. We've got Patterson's Delicious Shortbread Fingers, mm. and we have got Walker's Slow Baked Shortbread, that which I've cool. never tasted a slow baked shortbread no. before. Now, very different. These, oh wait, have they got sugars on top? Yeah. Very slightly, but look at much more sugar on top yeah. there. So this one is more of a traditional shortbread kind finger. of finger shape. Yeah, and, and this one's more kind of, it's bigger and it's yeah. like flatter and really it does like look that. more like rustic, doesn't it? It almost looks more like homemade. A, a slice of flapjack or something. Yeah, it does. Right, I'm excited. I might go Patterson first. Nice snap. <laughs> <laughs> nice crumbly snap. Lovely buttery shortbread. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The best shortbread though is homemade. Homemade in Scotland. Mm. Mm. You know, if you go to like a cafe or somewhere mm. and get proper, mm. fresh, sometimes if it's even still warm. Mm. Mm. What do we think to that? Nice. We've tried some shortbreads from different places around the world mm -hmm. and they all just don't quite get that. It's the buttery, the rich butteriness, yeah. the smooth, the creaminess that is so nice in a Scottish shortbread. Although I don't think that's the most buttery shortbread I've had. I don't think this is the best shortbread. Which is why I'm excited to nibble on this. Cheers. Look at the lovely mm. layers on there. Almost looks like phyllo pastry. Mm. No, puff. Puff, mm. yeah. All the different little layers mm -hmm. in there. That's nice. It's really nice really how nice. it like breaks up in your mouth mm. and then it kind of like fills it. So which crumbly. would be really good with a cup of tea or coffee. Mm. And the sugar on top. Delightful. Let us know down below if you love shortbread. What are you giving those? I think I'll give the Walkers a 10 out of 10. Yeah. They're great. What's not to like? I think I'll give the Pattersons 8 out of 10. Yeah. They're good. But not but, the best. But not the best. Yeah, I might even go just like a seven for those. Really? Just because, especially as nowadays, you can get shortbread with chocolate chips and mm. things like that. So I'm going seven. But I do think both of them would be very good with a cup of tea. Oh yeah, oh. definitely. Um, <laughs> shall we try our cocktails now? What do you reckon? Yep, I think it's cocktail time. Okay, I've got to close my eyes. Alex is about to bring his in now. Okay, I'd like to present to you my cocktail. After a fashion, it's called. After a fashion. After a fashion, yeah. Okay, can I open? Yeah, open your eyes. <laughs> oh my word! Oh my word! That's amazing, Al. <laughs> Did you like it? Did you buy that? I bought that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had one. I've been looking all I over the house. I thought we had for something it. like this. I've been looking all over the house. I couldn't find it, so I got oh one. Oh my word! Do you know what? I was just looking for that glass. <laughs> Wait, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I That's thought fine. when I was thinking about this the other day, I was like, oh, that would be the perfect glass. Yeah, for this. literally. Would that you, is amazing. Would you like to un unmask it? Yes, please. Wow. That's cool, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> too close to this. It's nice, to lovely. Wowzers, Al. You should work in a cocktail bar. You like it. Yes, well done, Al. You definitely got the memo well, I think, there. I think the glass does a lot of the work. <laughs> yeah, the glass is so pretty and that ice cube's amazing. Okay, let's leave her there. She's it's still, still smoking. smoking. That's it's the amazing. thing. I wasn't sure how long the smoke would last for. How long it carry on. That is amazing. Well done, mm. Al. That's so good. Okay, let's see if mine's up to... Uh, Open <laughs> until I'm seated. <laughs> right, Alex, today I am serving you the hashtag take me back with Kubokan. <laughs> Open. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks so good. And you've done a little menu. I've done you a menu. Oh, that's so good. So inside we have strawberries, honey, lime, and ginger ale with Kubokan. But you've told me the flavors, haven't you? <laughs> I was so 
underestimate my menu. I forgot that the challenge was against the flavors. Oh dear, I ruined it. I, well, I've also given it away because there's this floating strawberry on well, top. I wanted to put something on top of mine, but I thought I that would give guess, it away. Yeah. yeah, this is cool. So strawberry, honey, lime, and ginger. Oh, that's nice. I kind of feel like Ooh. if we're talking stereotypes, this would be something more I would buy and yeah. that would be something you'd buy. So this is good that I'm giving you this and you're giving yeah. me. I know I've made quite a um, a fruity, fun drink, but the reason why I wanted to do that was because yeah. I really wanted to bring a drink to the table that a lot of people won't be expecting yeah. to be a cocktail with whiskey. Yeah. And that's what I really wanted no, to I, I really portray. like what you've done here. I know what the flavours are now, but just can to talk you taste them through, them? I can taste the strawberry. I love the ginger ale. I love Do drinks you? with ginger ale. In a lot of whiskey cocktails like mine, mm -hmm. the whiskey is still front and centre. Like the main character. Yeah, whereas what I like with what you've done is the whiskey is there and it's playing and you can taste the flavours. You still get like a real richness of smokiness mm. in there. You've like made it into a drink I didn't expect you to put in front of me. That's so cool, I really like it. So many people look at whiskey and think, oh, so strong, yeah. I'm not even gonna to attempt to yeah. drink it. Whereas in something like this, it means I can enjoy it yeah. because, you know, Alex enjoys a whiskey yeah. more than me, whereas I'm much more of a cocktail lover. Yeah. So for me, this is perfect. Yeah. That's mm. a really nice touch. Mm, that is delicious. Yeah. And I love what you've done here. This is <laughs> thank amazing. Thank you, thank That's you. That's so cool. Oh, I really like that. That's I'm really so pleased good. with myself. So that works with this because whiskey is kind of like, in the mix, it's not yeah. in the forefront, whereas mine is in, in the, the forefront. forefront. <laughs> Talking about mine, shall we move to yes, mine? Yes, yes. I thought the go. creativity level was 10 out of 10. Also, um, Alex has pre-made some really large ice cubes. Yeah. Can you still smell the so smoke? So there's smoke, yeah. yeah. So have you burnt something? Yeah, and the thing I've burnt is what gave me the inspiration for this cocktail. Right, let's have a sip. Ooh, I was expecting from that colour mm. to be really strong. That's and really nice. And you still nice. get a surprising amount of smoke, don't you? Yeah. Mm. Oh, through each sip, I can smell the smoke and I can taste yeah. the smoke. You're gonna have to help me. I literally have no clue. Okay, so there's I'm something just... sweet. Oh, simple syrup. Yeah, well, there's a rich simple syrup. Ah. I've actually made it from light brown sugar. Oh my word. Yeah. And it's a two to one ratio, sugar to water. Ooh, well done yeah. now. Are there any fruity flavors you can they are subtle. Maybe I should have gone heavier. Orange. Yeah. Bit orange in there's there. There's orange in there. Oh, that's cool. And so what, orange like squeeze or orange juice? Yeah, there's some or squeeze fresh orange in there, as well as I mixed it with orange in the mixer. So there's orange, there's simple syrup, there's the ice, there's the whiskey. Yeah. And then what else is there? There's bitters. Right. Is uh, it rosemary? No, that's the smokiness. That's the smoky. You're close with rosemary. Time. No. Sage. Think more Scottish. Heather! Heather. You, you, you burn Heather. I burn Heather. Oh my word. <laughs> Got some Heather from a garden centre and I've been drying you, it out. What? Oh my God, now you're just like taking this to another level. You got Heather from a garden yeah. centre, you dried, it, dried out. it out. You've made a simple syrup with brown sugar. Yeah. You've done your ice cubes. Yeah. Well done, Al. <laughs> no, well done to you, that and looks so good. And you've obviously got some bitters. Yeah, Did bitters. you buy some bitters? Some Is that bitters. what arrived the other day? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, at least you can make this cocktail yeah. time and time oh, again. I love this. Well, we've got the rest of the bottle Ooh. we can enjoy. I really like that. That's really, really Cool. really nice yeah so i've seen people online and in bars make cocktails with smoke and oh, i've yeah. always wanted to do it yeah that's such a good idea mm. not just smoking it with anything mm. smoking it with a very traditional scottish yeah. plant oh, or bush heather bush heather it's a bush. yeah i'm still getting smokiness smell that that's so cool that's that really stays, nice. i wonder if it sticks to like the cold or mm. something i did want to present it with a little, a little. orange slice on oh a stick, but then but i don't want to give it give away, it away. <laughs> yeah. like i have <laughs> like you have with the strawberry and with the menu <laughs> 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 i thought i was being so clever with the mm. menu I was too busy thinking about the style. The menu, so you. Yours is great. Yours is great. Cheers to a successful Cheers. cocktail yeah. making. Yeah, very successful. In case you want to make our cocktails, we'll leave our recipes down below yeah. along with a link to where you can buy Kubokan because let's face it, it's a beautiful whiskey bottle, isn't yeah. it? You can add this to your collection. Yeah, aesthetically, it's really nice. And the thing that's cool is it's got a light smokiness. It's lightly peated and also it's got notes of citrus and spice, which 
kind of that's where I got all oh, my inspiration definitely... for my cocktail because it's smoky and yeah. sweet so it goes really well with your cocktail yeah. it would be really nice on your bar cart so yeah. definitely check out the link if you want to get yourself a bottle yeah and Kuboken actually have a competition on right yes. now where you can win a bottle of their signature single malt all you have to do is tag a drinking buddy down below in our comments and also subscribe to the Kuboken YouTube channel I think that was really successful I think that's very successful go yeah. us well done I think we should do this again this but is it's, really fun it's what we talk about every week it's not about being in your comfort zone and just yep. having the same things yep. over and again it's about like reaching out of your comfort zone and yep. trying something a bit different like i doubt before today you would have thought you'd enjoy a cocktail with no, whiskey in. no on a menu i just probably would have skipped past yeah. that because i've always seen it as such a strong drink yeah. but mixed with the right flavors yeah. for me it's a lovely drink yeah i'm a fan of old fashions mm -hmm. anyway yeah but i never would have thought about no. having it as a drink like this so i'm really pleased and i would definitely drink this again i think we've uh, succeeded at the challenge yes do let us know down below if you have a favorite cocktail that includes whiskey and let us know the recipe i choose next a tonics tea cake <sighs> now we have actually tried one of these on our um channel before maybe oh, someone sent it from um from canada, canada. Yes. What? Well, Nova there was a... Scotia or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nova what? Scotia. What Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Yeah. Was it Prince Edward Island? That's the one. Where they had quite a close connection with Scotland. Yeah. yeah. I have these all the time. They are incredible, aren't they? Al? Yeah. Perfect with a cup of tea. What I just love about these, in you, you go, is that soft, creamy marshmallow. No one else has really got that. Yeah. It's the way when you bite in, you crack through the chocolate and then it's marshmallow and then you've got the nice base. The worst so thing good. for me is the base. I'd happily eat the top without the base. I love the base. I think the base should maybe be shortbread. Oh, you've got a perfect bite there. I really like the base. I think without the base, it'd be a bit boring. It's all about the base. Who said that? Mmm. Is Megan Trainer. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's nice. That's heaven. So light and fluffy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, if you haven't tried rum, in a way, it's kind of like that fluff from America, but it's a much lighter. Much lighter, yeah. It's like being whipped. It's like airy. It's like fluff, but whipped. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to save that a little bit for later. Mm. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Easy. I love that these are established in 1890. Yeah. I feel like a lot of Scottish things are... Yeah, I've been around for a long yeah. time, traditional. I feel like in Scotland, it's very family orientated yeah. and everything. Very Speaking traditional. Speaking of family, yeah. we actually have Scottish in us. Yeah, we do. You we, tell us, Al. Yeah, on, <laughs> on our dad's side. On our dad's side, yeah. So um, our granddad and all the way up. Yeah, so yeah. we are part Scottish. And I think a lot of people know that by our surname. Yeah. Murdoch yeah. is very Scottish, Scottish surname. And I've been doing some research. Yeah. Believe it or not, in the United Kingdom, the name Murdoch mm. is the 888th most popular surname mm. with an estimated 7,724 people with that name. Yeah. And what's crazy is loads of the Murdochs I've come across are William, yeah. which is our dad's name. Yeah, and my middle name. And um, George has been oh, really? one of them as well. So, But it's so interesting because it was also saying how many Murdochs there are in Australia, how oh, many Murdochs. Yeah, yeah, so I've never met really any other Murdochs. Yeah. There's a famous Batman who's Matt Murdoch, isn't he? But obviously that's a thinking no, character. He's, um, who is he? He's um, Daredevil. Oh, Daredevil. Superman. <laughs> <laughs> right, and my other bit of information, yeah. did you know that we had a tartan? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. But... That told me that once. Really? The thing is, though, tartans and surnames, a system of associating tartans with surnames developed in the 19th century. Yeah. It follows an explosion of interest in all things Scottish in the 19th century, particularly after Walter Scott's arrangements for King George IV's visit to Scotland. Um, so... There are, um, not every surname though has a tartan. Yeah. So we're lucky that we oh, actually okay. have a tartan. So what is our tartan? And that is our tartan. Oh, that's cool. That's Which a good we one. will insert on the screen. Yeah. Do you know what Murdoch means? Yes. What? Seafarer. Uh, uh, Seafarer. Seafarer. Yeah, because they um, all like worked on boats and stuff. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, crazy. Because that's that, how you got your surnames, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it because it was to do with like what you do? So yeah, I really love that we've actually, we're tasting Scottish treats and we've got Scottish heritage in us. Yeah, that's really cool. We've never had anything like that from no. another country, no. have we? So this is really cool. That's our interesting section. That's our interesting <laughs> like fact for the yeah. day. Okay, we've got some oat cakes. Do you want to go savoury or more sweet? 
Let's start savoury. Okay, so we have got Orkney Thick Oat Cakes. Mmm, these look nice. Um, I've Googled, it says you should enjoy with like some butter, some cheese, some meat or some jam. So oh, we've cool. got some jam, but yeah. should we start with butter and cheese? Yeah, let's go Do you want to crack it. those yeah. open? I'm going to have a little bit of oat cake oh, on its yeah, own. Oh yeah, I'll have a nibble. Yes, please. And then we're going to try it with some butter and some cheese, just a mild, you know, cheese. Have you had oat cakes before? Mmm. Not these specific ones. Oh, Dad loves an oat cake. They're just so what? good. It's not what I was expecting. Really? These do have a really particularly mm. good flavour. This is like a flapjack. Well, that's almost what a flapjack is, isn't it? It's OT. Yeah, it's like a savoury flapjack. Yeah. That's really nice, actually. I thought it was going to be a bit more like um, bland. Yeah. It's got more flavour. It's actually got really nice texture and a lovely flavour. And it kind of tastes like porridge, mm. which hence the oats. Yeah. I'm going to nick a bit off the edge. We're going to put the cheese on now. Yeah, everything's better for cheese. <laughs> Especially rubber cheese. <laughs> My friend Viv is Scottish. She loves her oat cakes. Does she? She also taught me a song. Do you want me to play it? Yeah. Or sing it? Sing it, yeah. <laughs> sing along if you know. Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low. Through the streets in my kilt I go. Donald, where's your choosers? What, Viv told you that? Viv taught me that, yeah. Mmm, so good with cheese. That's good with cheese, yeah. Do you know what I like oat cakes with? What? Hummus. Mm. So good. Excellent. Now mm. we just tried a savoury oat cake. Yeah. So let's go down the route of a sweet oat cake. Yeah. So we have got Walkers back again with... Oat biscuits with raspberries and white chocolate. That sounds amazing. Yep. And I definitely picked it out with <laughs> yeah. white chocolate. But I, I thought this one would be good yeah. for you. This is Island Bakery um, Apple Ooh. Crumbles. Apple Crumble. And this one a great taste of 2020. Do you know what though? Every time I've seen this brand in the supermarket, yeah. I always think this is a dress. It's like a, oh. a bull on the top of a... So did I. I thought that was a, a, a like a like lady a bull ball on a hill. gown. Yeah. So we have got Appley oat biscuits with a sprinkling of cinnamon and a dash of apple juice. I feel like apple and cinnamon could also be a really great combo with the whiskey. Yeah. Don't you think? Apple, cinnamon. Mm. As I said, these are crunchy Scottish oat biscuits scattered with raspberries and white chocolate. Yum. This is really good branding. Yeah, I really like that. It looks fancy. Oh, you... these are like packaged. Oh my word. How cute. Interesting. You'll Take have to let us um, know how ready available you can get these in Scotland. Because obviously yeah. this is what we can get here. Yeah. Oh my word, look, it's a little boat. Oh, that Nana is so had a good. little box of these in her biscuit tin. They've done everything. Yeah, really the packaging's well, amazing. Should we go for an apple crumble yep. first? I'm excited for this. It's really thin. Mmm. That That's like, good. It's like a cinnamon apple pie or something, mm. isn't it? That does taste like mm. I've had an apple pie. Yum. I enjoyed the savoury oat cake, mm. but I did think I might be more sweet. <laughs> what gave you that impression? <laughs> I'm going to rate those once I've had the raspberry mm. white chocolate. So this is oh. slightly bigger, isn't it? A bit chunkier. It's funny because they do kind of look the same in a way on yeah. top, don't they? That rough. Mm. Or I, even better, I could taste the sweetness of the raspberries. Oh yeah. Mm. Straight away I got that raspberry flavour. These are delicious. I'm going these over the apple mm. just because my filet the palette is more raspberry white chocolate. Well, I love those, mm. but there's something about the freshness of raspberries and white chocolate mm -hmm. that's just so good. Also, a lot of the times when you read raspberry and white chocolate, mm. it's a very fake raspberry. This is like little dried bits mm. of raspberry, isn't it? A little sip of my drink. Mm. Mm. Very good. Still smoky. What would you give them? I'm gonna give them 10 out of 10, I think, mm -hmm. for those ones. I give those a nine out I'm of 10. I'm gonna give these a nine out of 10 mm. and the raspberry white chocolate a 10 out of 10. Okay, these are a classic. These are from the same brand as the tea cakes. Mm -hmm. I just love it so much. Because of the caramel, it almost makes it taste a little stale, don't you think? Only because it's a bit more chewy. But like, I like yeah. that. Because a lot of the time when we've had wafers from other countries, it's like chocolate. You don't often mm -hmm. get caramel, but the caramel makes it so chewy, doesn't it? A really lovely bite. You know how I don't always say I would ever pick up a wafer tree. Mm. This is like the only wafer I always jump for. And I think you're right, it's the caramel because all of the other ones are just like chocolate, chocolate. Mm. And they're sometimes a bit generic. Oh, it's literally melting in my fingers. I love the chew. I love the caramel taste. Wow. What would you give that? 12. So good, aren't they? I forgot how good they are. Mm. I used to get them quite often as snacks. Yeah, I went haven't had those for ages. Yeah, the they're just so good. Sure. I love that they're in the paper. Yum. Do you want to go for another drink now? 
Yeah, why not? Another thing which, if you say to me Scotland, yeah. I think Iron Brew is up there. Yeah. It's funny, I, I don't often drink Iron Brew in like a glass. So I often forget the colour. Yeah. Because I'm, it, I usually drink it out of a tin if I have it. It's bright orange. It's not yeah. just the tin. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. The bubbles just made me blink. Yeah. I love this. What is the flavour? I was of just about brew? to say. Do they even say? It says brewed in Scotland to a secret recipe since 1901. It's a bit like you know in America we have moxie. And yeah, like, wasn't that the most? <laughs> but wasn't there something in America that kind of tasted like Iron Brew a little bit? Mm. I love the branding, the bright orange, the blue, from the man like holding up the brew. I just love that drink so much. Don't you feel like it could be in the family of like root beer? Yeah, it's quite like individual, mm. and it's kind of like yeah. There's not another drink like no. It. I love how they say original and best because there are like some brands that have done like a basics version. Oh really? But that's the thing. No one can beat Iron Brew itself. It almost tastes a bit like um, caramelly in a way. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, I see what you mean. On the yeah. version of like cream soda. Mm. Should we get the ice cream out? Let's go for ice cream. And then yeah. we've just got jam left. Ooh. I think we need to do a video going to Scotland. It'd be cool to do like a, a food tour of Scotland. Yeah. It? I've seen Mackey's. The first time I tried it is when my Scottish friend Viv who I was talking about before, she came round and she said she picked up Mackey's for us. Yeah. On the side here it says, have you tried our farm made chocolate? A range Ooh. of smooth milk and rich dark chocolate bars in flavor inspired by our ice creams. But obviously we don't get these ice creams. There's one that's honeycomb, one that's orange, mint and dark. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Also, doesn't that look like the perfect dollop in yeah. there? <laughs> It looks a lot whiter than I was expecting. Right, if you don't have a proper ice cream scoop like this, you need to get yourself a proper ice cream scoop. It's literally a game changer. It is, isn't it? It, it amazes is. me every time how easy that makes it to scoop. And you can get these perfect balls. <laughs> I've like always wanted to work shop. in like an like an ice cream parlor, but we don't really have those in England because I'm sure you will one well, day. Well, you Kate. do by like the seaside, yeah. but like not where we live. Are we having two scoops? Are we two balls? Two scoops. Right, and I'll pop that in the freezer so it doesn't melt. Tell us the story, Al, while I go do this. Kate bought a tub of organic Mackey's ice cream for us to try in this video. She brought it home, got distracted, left it on the stairs, it melted. It was then just cream, not ice cream. So we had to buy another one. And that's the story. <laughs> and that's this one, that's the story. And if you're wondering if Kate telling me the ingredients of her <laughs> cocktail is out of character. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was just too excited to, do, to make a little yeah. um... PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, well, I've seen on TikTok people doing these like cocktail nights with their friends yeah. where every friend has to bring a cocktail uh, to the okay. party and then they like bring it and is they have a point? name to it or whatever. So I was really just thinking about that. <laughs> I can really taste the fresh cream. It tastes really different to vanilla. Oh, because yeah. it's is not that vanilla. even vanilla? Is that no, original? It's cream. Ice and cream. It's literally cream that's frozen. So it, it's not vanilla. And it tastes like the fancy cream that you get in yeah. like a proper cafe when they've just milked mm. the cow. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. It's like a really nice cream that's been frozen. Yeah. I wonder what that tastes like. More like the homemade ice cream I made that time. Because that really is just like double mm. cream. I know a lot of the time you use vanilla, but this would be perfect to accompany something like an apple crumble. Like, yeah, um, a dessert. A, yeah, a dessert. Like a, a brownie, mm. like a sticky toffee pudding, because it's like that middle bit where it's like, do you want cream and custard or do you want like ice cream? Mm. But this, when it melts, is like cream. Yeah. So you get the best of both worlds. Oh my God, I've never realized that. So this actually isn't vanilla, it's original. Yeah, it's cream. I wonder it tasted like different when I tried it years ago. Mm. But years ago, I wasn't that much into food as much. Yeah. Mm. Into, I've never known a time when you weren't into food. No, but I mean, I wouldn't think about those things mm. as much. That's really nice. enjoyable though, isn't it? Really enjoyable. It does taste like fresh, doesn't it? Mm. Do you know what that would go nice with? Jam. A bo well, yeah. <laughs> I thought that's what you are talking about. Or a ball of that on an oat apple crumble <laughs> biscuit. <laughs> I'm not saying now, I just mean it would go It nice. would, yeah. Mm. Like you say, this is just cream ice cream. You probably could put some jam on it. You could, yeah. Add a bit of flavour. Do you want to give it a go? Crumble some oat cakes in. <laughs> We could make a little dessert there. Make a little Scotland mess. Yeah, Scotland mess. <laughs> We've just created it. <laughs> Chuck a bit of whiskey on there. But um... <laughs> <laughs> just a dash of whiskey. Hmm. So what were you giving that then? I'm going to give that a nine out of 10. 
Yeah. You know, it's not as exciting as some of the really like flavored things where you got bits in it mm. and all that kind of stuff. But it's really good, simple ice cream, isn't it? And it's a completely different flavour to vanilla. You don't realise actually how flavoursome vanilla is mm. compared to just cream. That's really nice. I was absolutely gutted because when I went online, you could get, it was another brand, Hot Toddies ice cream. Oh, yeah. So I was a bit gutted that we couldn't get that because yeah. I think that would have been fun yeah. with the whiskey and everything. But um, I think that was really nice. Yeah, I'd probably give 9 out of 10 as well because like you say, it's at the end of the day, it's just like cream, yeah. ice cream. But really nice. Should we put some jam in there to give it some flavour? Yeah, do you fancy that? I fancy that. Okay, we've gone for Mackey's made with whole fruit Scottish three berry preserve. Is this the same make? No, this is Mackey's. No. Oh, is that how you would say that? Mackey's. Isn't the other one spelt different? Yeah. This I, is yes. Mackey's, I think. Okay, so we have got strawberry, raspberry and black currant. Mm. Now, to make our delicious three berry preserve, we use only the finest Scottish berries grown in the berry fields of eastern Scotland using traditional open copper pans the highest quality scottish soft fruit and our authentic methods we ensure rich fruit flavors in every batch and that special homemade taste you expect from mckay's <laughs> mm, put yes. a bit in there yeah i reckon mm. oh lovely flavor lovely smell even because i would usually generally opt for a strawberry or a raspberry yeah i don't tend to pick up the mixed ones but actually that's got such a great smell i think this is a really good idea of mm. mine Mm. Mm. Wow. So a bit of it on its own. So you know how we were just saying the ice cream's quite plain? That just adds a nice bit of fresh and fruitiness. Do you know what I think that would be nice on? A scone. That's really good having a mixture of three. Really yeah. delicious. I'm gonna put a bit more in. Yeah, you can really oh, actually so taste that. all three of the flavors, can't you? Yeah. What is it? The black currant. Strawberry, raspberry, and black currant. The black currant is a really nice addition, isn't it? It's usually mm. um, sometimes like blackberry. Whereas mm. I like black currants. Are you going to finish that with your porridge? Mm. That's also very Scottish. Good idea, yeah. Scottish rolled oats. Well, I did think in this video we should have porridge. Yeah. And I thought I've already had mine today. <laughs> yeah. So. You don't need no more. No. Now, I know that a big part of today mm. was to actually push boundaries yeah. and try whiskey in a different way. Yeah. But as we're doing a Scottish taste test, I think we should try a more traditional way as well yeah. of enjoying the whiskey, which is... Hot toddy. Hot toddy. All growing up, I've heard dad say a hot toddy. Yeah, well, I think it must come from the Scottish side of our family because dad would be like, oh, have a hot, a hot toddy. toddy. Yeah. yeah, just hot any toddy excuse, before bed. hot toddy. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, so we're going to go away and make a hot toddy. Yeah. What's inside a hot toddy, Al? Hot toddy is whiskey, lemon, honey, cinnamon, and clove. Some uh, hot water. Oh, yeah. And the lemon is squeezed in, yeah. but it's also like sliced. Yeah. So let's go make that. Well, I can't think of a better way to wrap up a video than with a hot toddy. Can you? Cheers. Cheers. Be careful, it might be quite hot still. I think in the past when I've had a hot toddy, I've had a cheat hot toddy because I've had the whiskey, I've had the hot water and I've had the honey and lemon. But you've never, never actually had... put the cinnamon or the cloves in. I'm really excited to try this. Well, this is actually my first hot toddy. Is it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Do you know what? Because I have never been like before a whiskey drinker, yeah. I thought this was going to be awful. Yeah. If I'm being truly honest, I thought it was going to be awful. But you've got to remember that cinnamon is actually quite a strong flavour. Yeah. Lemon is quite strong. Yeah. Honey. So I feel like I'm I'm getting those smoky flavours mm. in here. Yeah. It might also be because I'm sitting over my smoky the drink. Smoky drink. <laughs> yeah. I think it's really good. It is. It's warming, isn't it? It is warming. And all of the things kind of add to that. The whiskey, the hot water, obviously. The cinnamon, the clove. Hot Adler. water, obviously. That was <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's really nice. And then the honey and the lemon, tart and sweetness, just to yeah. balance it out. I think that's a good amount of lemon in there. Mm. This is really getting me in the winter vibe now. I feel nice and cosy. Yeah. I I feel like these cocktails could be used for New Year, don't you? Nice Ooh. hot toddy, Christmassy, yeah. or you know, yeah. don't you think? It's dark now so early. Yeah. It's definitely feeling like the winter months and a hot toddy feels kind of perfect, doesn't yeah. it? It's half four, it's dark. You can't go back outside. No, you can't. You can't you gotta, go back out. You gotta stay in, no, hot toddy. it's dark, you can't go back out. And I feel like today we have shown a really good variety yeah. of how to enjoy whiskey. I'm saying now about the winter, enjoying the whiskey, yeah. but I feel like my cocktail really shows that it's an all year round drink because yeah. it's more fruity, fun, summer. Mm. Hashtag take me back to Hashtag summer 2020. Back, yeah. <laughs> no, don't take me back there. No, I don't no, think anyone wants no. to go back there. Take us back to Mallorca. <laughs> oh.
Well, this was a perfect way to end today's video. We hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Yeah, thank you so much to Kubokken for sponsoring this video. We had so much fun putting these cocktails together and kind of challenging what our expectations were of a whiskey drink. I really enjoyed that. It just shows there's no rules on how you should enjoy whiskey. Yeah. You know, get out there, go experiment with different flavors, push the boundaries rather than just drinking it with an ice cube. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget if you want to win a bottle of Kubokken signature single malt whiskey, all you have to do is comment down below tag your drinking buddy and also subscribe to their YouTube channel. But we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.